Hello my soccer owners, welcome to part 7 of the Champions League jersey review, which for me is the weird one, because that's the one where I don't have a single jersey, and I've been actually looking last week. Can I get one of these for cheap? I mean, I didn't want to have a Leipzig one for sure. So it was more or less between Lyon and Benfica, and to be honest I couldn't find one that I really really liked. For a decent price enough. I think I was closer to Lyon than to Befica. And then I decided, okay, let's pull out the France uh, away jersey from 2010, because that's maybe close to Lyon as it can get. Uh, I was, again, it was between Lyon and Befica, and it did yeah, this one. I could have pulled a Germany jersey for Red Bull, but Eagle and Bull doesn't mix either. So yeah, it's the weird one. It's also the most open group where I think that the pot four team. Leipzig had probably the biggest chance of winning that one, which is also odd. It's it's the it's always there's always one group in the group stage, usually the one with the Russian champion, as it is in this one, where you ask yourself, hmm, doesn't quite live up to it. I mean, at least we have some names in there, but it's still it's I think to me this group is definitely the odd man out. But it there's some interesting jerseys in there, and that's what we hear to look at. So let's get started right away with the Benfica home jersey by Adidas and it's a Benfica jersey. It's red, has a little bit of white. Why don't the sleeve cuffs wrap around? I think that's the only thing that I would complain about it. But other than that I think it's a pretty darn nice looking jersey. Typically Benfica look, uh, I probably would prefer the color. I, I remember my probably my favorite Benfica jersey would be the one from 12, 13 with the uh, white color. I think that one looked awesome. But this one, nothing fancy. Uh, but that gets the job done. I would give this a straight up 8 to 9. Maybe 8 because I find the sleeve cuffs a little bit. 8 star jersey. It's a, it's a Benfica jersey. Looks wonderful. Um, again, the away jersey for, from Benfica is where I start to get trouble. Um, Again, Benfica has a black away jersey, which again, contrast, doesn't really fit that much. And last season, uh, Benfica, I think, had a white away jersey that got them into trouble against Ajax, where Ajax had to play both games against Benfica in black jerseys. And again, they do something similar. Black, grey, however you would like to call it. Uh, the jersey is over a little bit too dark and I think Benfica really could use uh, three jerseys. I don't know why they only have uh, two at the moment. Um, I think a black one looks nice. The only thing is I really don't like the crest uh, that is red and then all blacked out. Uh, it's kind of an afterthought. It's like your stealth crest. I mean, the whole kit has a sort of a stealth look. Only the winner's shield for the league, which won't be won in Champions League. Maybe it will be. I haven't actually checked that. But that's the only thing that pops. Everything else is kind of blending away, which could be a nice look, but um, I don't know. It doesn't really fit with this template. And honestly, I am, especially with the, with that crest, I don't like it that much. And red and black are two of my favorite color combinations. So mm -hmm. what can I say? It's not a great one. Let's say five stars here. However, one that looks deceivingly similar is Leipzig's home jersey, but that one is awesome. It takes full advantage of the fact that Leipzig is not an established team. Yes, Red Bull has its established color scheme, but this is something else. Take the navy and put some red and uh, light blue specks on it and you get one hell of a awesome looking jersey. I really have to say I love this one. Uh, I'm not sure now, did they wear navy pants, you know, uh, maybe, maybe there's some discontinuity with the overall look, but I really have to say this one is an amazing jersey. Um, uh, not a small sponsor, when you go back to the Salzburg, Salzburg just has Red Bull, Leipzig gets a, gets a little bit more attention, gets a nicer jersey, gets something special. The Salzburg jerseys were actually nothing really to write home about. So uh, really this one is a nice one where I have only one option to be honest and that is nine stars. Just a little bit missing to be perfect but it's still it's quite awesome. As for the Avengers for, for Leipzig I really do not know what they will use if they have to uh, wear a um, light jersey. 
I actually think they might wear the Bundesliga home jerseys uh, appropriately adjusted as shown here. Uh, we look at this in the Bundesliga jersey review and I have to say it leaves me wanting. Namely, I don't like the navy collar and then the white sleeve because then it's one with red. There's just something off with it. I think I would use navy as a slighter accent somewhere else. Also the bands that are on there it's it's average it's nothing special and again if it had a red color i probably would like it a bit more five stars therefore for that one then let's go to the team that i want to sort of honor here uh in lyon and boy do they have a boring home jersey i saw it when they played against psg already and before nice grand that color but this is your white jersey with gray and then a little bit of red and a little bit of blue as accents it's leon jerseys were usually a joy to behold this one is everything but this is as boring as it can be yes it has colors but it does way too little with them i would at least expect the color to have something or have to do this do this that's what you should do with the three stripes let it show, give it a little a little bit more color. The gray um, shoulder stripes totally put me off and kind of make this jersey for me one of saying this is a missed chance more than anything else. It pretty much goes to Leipzig right. I mean, I like the color, I like the style of the jersey, but I think it looks unfinished to me. Five stars. The away jersey uh, is quite interesting. Uh, you know, it has this faded there with dark blue so you already have a little thumbs up from me for that automatically and here we use accent colors we use white with a little bit of red and so so this looks way more uh, like a soccer jersey and actually a pretty nice one at that sponsor is huge will be much smaller in the champions league uh, we know that already but i think uh overall this is a quite nice jersey again uh I'm not sure if separating the white and the red and then just putting a minimal red, red is the best choice, but I still like it a lot and I would give this a seven star. And then the craziest jersey that uses the same template that we already saw for Benfica is this third jersey with a different sponsor. Um, and this is the first time that I see this template in a two color version, not, uh, you know, taking uh, one color and then X and then slightly change the color something darker or lighter here we have red with blue which makes this a very weird jersey to look at to be honest but i think it is interesting enough um this is one that really will split opinion i honestly uh one time i like it one time i don't but i'm more leaning towards liking it because it's so different but it still plays with the club's colors it fits nicely with everything and i'm really thinking this is i want to say this is a six star jersey it is an interesting one leo had a lot of really interesting uh third shirts in their um time the last 20 years or or so one that actually will almost warrant a um, special video where you always have the white home jersey and then there's usually the third jersey that is completely out of the ordinary uh especially since adidas took over and now to the CD team, with our, which are the Russian champions, Zenit. And you see this is an Adidas versus uh, Nike group in its purest form. And as always, the Zenit home jersey, there is nothing normal about it. Uh, look at the crest. It has this triangular thing, and I think that's the inspiration for all these triangles that are going all over. Uh, it's a bear to look at. It's... Uh... <laughs> I have to say, Zenit jerseys are always one that uh border the line of good taste it's between genius and madness and more often at least for me they fall into the madness category and then in the genius category and i would say same thing here uh those triangles with the fades in there it's just all a little bit way too much i mean i like that they try to stand out and note also that the shoulders continue the pattern which is not very usual for nike but where shall I go with this one? 
Hana gift and some credit for trying some or something, but it's really it's re and you know uh, from from a distance and and so it will still look as a uniform shirt, but I just <clears throat> three stars and we're done with it. I don't want to justify it any further. Uh, the away jersey though is really again very 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 nice. Uh, that is more to my liking. This is your plain white, but I really like how the sleeve cuffs and the collar are nicely accentuated with light blue, white, and navy. That actually gives a whole um, classy feel to it. And also, I think the sponsor has a slight fade to it, which also doesn't look too bad. This one, really, uh, it's simple, but it's striking. Um, and it has this special something that you can easily cannot have and what's more it actually fits with the club's colors that's uh i would expect seeing that the home jersey is light blue with white i would expect exactly an opposite for the home for the away jersey and that's what we get here this is a, actually a quite nice jersey um i want to give this eight star because they've really done a good job with this one well not many jerseys in that video uh, we had some really interesting ones, we had some crazy ones, um, and yeah, let me know what you thought about this. We, which ones in here do you like, which ones you do not, um, do you agree with my assessment? Which jersey, or for which team should I get a jersey off in this group? Maybe I should do Zenit, hmm? Well, I can't really find a Zenit jersey around here. Uh, anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.